Would you like a Zhujan? Would you like it fast? Like in the next couple of minutes? Yeah? Then call me, Zhujan Zhan, owner of Zhujan Zhan's delicious golden Zhujan delivery. I am 100% Zhujan man. Seriously, I actually have a psychological condition. I'm sick, so very sick in the head. Here's the Zhujan John promise. Call with your order. I will deliver your Zhujan in moments. Even if you don't call, I'm still coming over with my Zhujans and. I won't take no for an answer. I'll shove my Zhujans right through the front door. I'll throw them at your house. Warning. If you see Zhujan Zhan near your home, do not approach him. I will only force you to try my Zhujans. Zhujan Zhan's Zhujans taste bad. Bad. John, John. Hello, Gujon John. Welcome to my domain. I've invited my family around for a special dinner to announce that I've developed a new type of intimate dance. Can you tell me the best types of Gujons to sell, please? Better in mind that my most of my family hate me. <laughs> Congratulations on the new dance. Why not serve them my new Zhujan John homestyle family Zhujans? made from only the darkest shavings of the silvery bird. Thank you. How do you... How do you decide? Ah, there Everybody loves tea, Peranza. Tea? Do you like tea? Would you like it served to you by a capering, frisky sprite? Then you need the services of the tea, Peranza. Hello, I'm Starboy5000. And what's that you say? Why won't I tell you more about the tea, Peranza? Please, calm down. I'm going to do that now. The Tea Prancer is a dinky minikin who loves bringing tea to people like you. The Tea Prancer serves his tea hot and brown, just how I like it. Yum, yum. The Tea Prancer doesn't just prance. He will also caper and rum. The Tea Prancer's movements are powerful and hypnotic. So long as he isn't provoked, the Tea Prancer will not attack you or your family. But please, it is important that you do not invite the Tea Prancer to stay for a snack. He will slither beneath your bed and won't ever leave. At night, you will hear him trembling and banging. Book your visit from the Tea Prancer today and get nine free visits from the Coffee Ghoul. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, please be aware, the Tea Prancer is a sexual guy. He is a sexual guy. Tea? Toot toot! When you're sleeping in your bed, I sneak 
upstairs and stare I take my scissors to your head And cut all your hair I do it, I do it, I do on your hair Then swallow, then swallow I do it, I do it, I do on your hair I'm a hair eater, baby I'm a hair eating man, oh yeah I don't say possibly or maybe Gonna fry your hair up in my pan I chew it, I chew it, I chew on your hair Then swallow It's good upon my tongue I feel it sliding down my gullet I wanna eat your hair while we're still young Whether it's a perm, a bob or molly Swallow lots of hair Swallow lots of hair, yeah Chang <laughs> Baekhan Pálido. Fly. Sulk. Tuajul. Guys, are you tired of drawing the same old things, like seeds, pods, and bonnets? Have you ever considered drawing things which don't even exist in the real world? Did you know that you can actually draw your dreams? Yes, you can draw your dreams, and I'm going to show you how. Dreams are movies which happen in your head when you go Betty Bye. Unlike real movies, dreams don't star famous celebrities. They star you and your friends, and sometimes you're all in the nude in a warehouse. Your wife? Well, she's there too, sitting on a tarp with her Zumba instructor whose name is Juan Pablo. Two nights ago, I dreamt that my dog had a beat and he was taking a shower. I stood in the bathroom, clapping and cheering and slapping the side of the shower cubicle. As soon as I woke up, I drew a picture of all this and turned over to show my wife. I forgot that she'd left me two months ago. She even took the dog. Here's how I draw my dreams. I start with the beginning of my dream and proceed to depict the events chronologically. As you can see, this was a very exciting dream. So much happened it's hard to fit it all in. Still, I did my best, even though I'm not very good at drawing. It was one of the main things my wife hated about me. She said my drawings were terrible and that she was sick of me trying to show them to her. Now it's time for you to draw your own dreams. Every dream starts with a blank canvas, or as in this case, a chalkboard. If you don't have pencils or chalk, you can imagine them. Use your mind pencils to draw your dream on this blackboard. Do that now. You might even like to show it to your wife. Though don't make my mistake and show her a drawing of you pushing one Pablo under a snowplow. You'll have a big argument and it will be the last time you see her. She'll send Juan Pablo around to collect her things. You'll get flustered and try to show him one of your dream drawings. You lash out and accidentally kick the dog and your neighbor will call the cops. I am so sorry, Helen. I promise I won't show you any more dream drawings. I promise. I promise. I promise.
Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, hi, John. Well, what's up? I couldn't help but notice you've not been yourself recently. Ever since I cooked and ate my own dog, I've just felt so listless. I can't even remember the last time I laughed properly. Oh, Pete. I don't even know why I did it, John. Sounds like you've had a really rough time. Well, listen, have you heard of the Funtron 8? The Funtron 8? What is that? It's a new computerized joke computer from Xenox Industries. I think it might be just what you need right now. This is the Funtron 8, Pete. 10 Ks of pure joke processing powers from the geniuses of Xenox Industries. Wow! Yeah, that's right, Pete. Wow! It's literally light years ahead of other computerized joke computers. But how does it work? I'm glad you asked, Pete. What would you like to hear a joke about? Let's have a joke about my favorite animal, the bird. The bird. <laughs> Coming right up. One from. Could you tell us a bird's joke, please? Calculating bird's joke. <laughs> and now we wait. Now let's collect our joke, shall we? Question. Where do dodos live? Ooh. Answer. Graves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. Yes, the dodos are extinct and dead. But it's not just birds joke that Funtron offers. Let's check out this list of categories. <laughs> What are you looking at, John? I can't see anything. Dog jokes. Chimney jokes. <laughs> jokes about perverts. Question. Who is the biggest pervert in the world? Answer. Stinky Williams. <laughs> jokes for babies. Jokes for teens. Funtron can even tell jokes about jokes. Question, what is the funniest joke of all time? Answer, this one. <laughs> Look at the list, Pete. There are over 20 category of joke. What's going on, John? I can't see anything. What are you referring to? Can't you see them, Pete? Floating in the air like magical word angels. John, you're scaring me. Oh, I know I am. Look inside yourself. Let me go, please. The function name. Throw me, throw me. I once put two onions in a bird's mouth and left it in the bush. <laughs> yes, excellent, Janet. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we'll get those numbers sent over to you later today. Okay? Wonderful. Okay, great. And uh, the best of luck in all your future endeavours from everyone here at Haribo. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, John. Oh, hello, Robot4375. Uh, could you do me a favour while you're here? Can you send over those uh, interim financial statements to Janet, please? Thank you. Of course, John. And can I just say, you're looking lovely today. Can I remind you that's a deeply inappropriate statement to make in the office, robot? I'm sorry, John. It's just that your human skin is so beautiful. May I touch it with my unfeeling robot hands? No, stop it. All right, stop it. You're making me feel uncomfortable, all right? And besides, I thought robots couldn't even appreciate beauty. We do in certain cases, John, if you get my meaning. Wink. Look, is anything you particularly wanted? Yes, John. I have brought you a snack. I didn't ask you to make me a snack. I know that, John. But I did it anyway. I brought you this. A snack. Observe my nozzles. What? 
What is that? It's your snack, John. I've not done anything to it. Look, stop it! Stop it! Look, I don't want this, all right? My wife's already made me a nice big beef sandwich. Thank you. Oh. I never knew you were married. Yes. 14 years. And Madeline's going to be really upset to know that it's you that's been sending me those bouquet of fronds every day for the past month. All right? Just eat your snack, John. Eat your snack. Don't look back. Yeah. Yeah. Eat your snack. Don't look back. Yeah. Eat it, John. Eat the snack with your pretty human mouth. I promise it's perfectly safe. That's enough. All right? Stop it. I have had it up to here with your affections, all right? I, I don't want any more bouquets of fronds. I don't want any snacks. And I don't want you breaking into my house, all right, to sneak into the bathtub with me. Please. Look, there's obviously something wrong with your programming. But I love you, John. I love you with every part of my chassis. Well, robots can't love. Can they, Robot 4375? And the sooner you realise that, the better. Thank <laughs> you.